Oh, look at how nice, beautiful, and sunny it is. Man, so cool. Hello, friends. Happy Sunday. It's nice that we're getting like decent weather now because for those of you that live in the Midwest, we've had a very interesting spring. And by interesting, I mean like two weeks ago, it snowed. And then the week before that, it also snowed. So it's nice to be able to like actually get outside today. Hence why I'm outside with this video. Taking a break, catch a Pokemon, and I miss. There we go, now I'm settled in. There's a playground behind me. So in my last video, I understand that I was um, a really big nerd. Ta 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 ta, Dungeons and Dragons! Like some of this stuff is so cool. Like look, that's a dragon! It's a dragon! And I think that's kind of something that I've understood like the majority of my life, that I am a nerd. Nerd, dork, geek, everything. I enjoy things that are nerdy. I enjoy science fiction, I enjoy fantasy. Um, I enjoy video games. That's one of the things that I loved from the very early on of my childhood. I've been playing Nintendo games ever since I was like six. Ever since then, I think I've just always been drawn to like very nerdy things. I love Star Wars. It's one of the biggest uh, movies, ser movie series that I that I was drawn to as a kid, and I still love to this day. I still play Nintendo games. I have I bought myself a Switch last month. And ever since then, getting exposed uh, to things like Doctor Who and Dungeons and Dragons when I was in college, that's, those are things that um, have only furthered my love of, of nerdy things. And this also presents a lot of problems for me when I was a kid, because I grew up in that era when being called a nerd, being called a dork, those were terms that were often seen as negatives, things you didn't want to be called. And I think that's why I'm so happy that that has kind of gone away now over the years um, because now nerdy culture becomes more and more mainstream. I mean there was a time when becoming incredibly addicted to Marvel comics was seen as a nerdy thing um, but now with like movies like Avengers Infinity War um, though the, the, they're things that have become so incredibly mainstream and now people like everywhere are going to go see a movie about superheroes, which is a nerdy thing. And that leads me to something that I want to talk about today, because what constitutes a nerdy thing? And the best explanation that I, that I have, um, that, that I've heard and that I've thought about myself is this. Making something nerdy, making something that you can nerd out about, that's just something that you're excited about. Like, 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 I love Dungeons and Dragons, and last week I played with my friends a game of Dungeons and Dragons, and it was fun. The, the, my, my, my friends that were the characters that in, in my game, um, they were negotiating with the bad guy. They were, um, they were, they were click, thinking up of clever, um, ways to solve the problems that I gave them. And that's something that I was excited about, like, they're, they're, they're appreciating the game that I have introduced to them and the game uh, of Dungeons and Dragons that I have created for them. And now thinking, drawing, drawing that connection to something that people are so excited about today, Avengers Infinity War, there's, I, I see so much on social media about people becoming attached to characters, Iron Man, Captain America, um, those two mainly. And now they're dealing with something that they're excited about. They're excited to go see Avengers Infinity War, this movie that, that, that is the final chapter of this part of the story. Um, which again draws me to kind of why what makes something nerdy is that people are excited about things. The best answer that I have to this question is if you, is you're, you are a nerd if you become excited about something. So if you... If, if you're excited about Avengers, or about sports, or about video games, or things like that, then congratulations, you are a nerd. Congratulations on getting to enjoy one of the best things about being a human. And I think that also brings me to the point of, I don't think it's possible to not be a nerd over something. Because there's always going to be something that you're going to be drawn to. There's always something that you're going to be excited about. Um, if it's Doctor Who, or the St. Louis Cardinals, or, I don't know, maybe it's your religious faith or things like that. There's always something that you're going to find, that you're going to find um, attractive in the way that you get excited over it. I changed spots because I like this one better. But back to my original point, like, I, there, there, are, there are moments in my life 
um, when I, not like, like specifically with my Catholic beliefs, um, where I, where something makes so much sense and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, I'm able to put all the little pieces that together when I'm like trying to figure out, um, what something means, like for what, like when I'm trying to figure out what something means in my Catholic faith, and I and I finally figure that out, and I'm just like, what? That's so cool! Like it's 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 one of the rare and beautiful moments that I get when I when I, it all just makes sense to me, and I just get so excited about this new revelation, which I think can speak for why people share things like their faith, like 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 if you if you have this 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 nugget of information, this, the secret about life, or in this case, the, the Catholic belief that you have, um, you don't want to keep that to yourself. You want to share with other people so that they can also have this feeling of, like, like you, you can share in this, in this realization. And I think that might actually be another aspect of what it means to be, um, a nerd, and that is community. Um, like, so... In 2013, um, November 23rd, 2013, I'm hazy on the date, but I'm going with it. Um, I joined a bunch of people in the in, in one of the lobbies for uh, of, of one of the college dorms, and we watched the 50th anniversary special of Doctor Who, and it was beautiful. Like like the episode was great. It was fantastic, and I loved it. But getting to watch that and share that with other people made the entire experience a million times better. And I think that can be shared for any aspect of uh, uh, when, when people get excited about anything. And I think that that's something that can be said about being a nerd in general, is that it's so much better when you're with other people. Um, the, the feeling of being of, of the excitement that's that surrounds you is, is is contagious like every year the Catholic community at my college hosts a Super Bowl party and we watch the Super Bowl now ordinarily I wouldn't care like whatever football but being around other people again it's contagious I, I want to put myself in that in that feeling um, because it, it's it's infectious. In addition, like for four years, I was a member of um, the the basketball band uh, for my for my university, and again, ordinarily, I probably wouldn't have that much interest in basketball. But because a it was my college and I had a team to root for, and b um, I was surrounded by so many people who again had this same feeling, who were going, who who were who who loved the sport, who were cheering for the team it became infectious and I would always be right in there. Anytime um, an awesome play was made or a play was made against us, I would be right there cheering or booing depending on what happened. So I think all that really kind of sums up that if you enjoy something and if you enjoy that something with other people, congratulations, you are a nerd. Enjoy it. It is one of the best parts of being human. Um, take care, God bless, and have a good day.